Geoffrey Chaucer, the author of the collection of stories named The Canterbury Tales, is considered the father of English literature. The Canterbury Tales is a collection of 24 stories that runs to over 70,000 lines written in Middle English by Geoffrey Chaucer between 1387 and 1400. The tales, mostly written in verse, are presented as a part of storytelling contest by a group of pilgrims as they have traveled together from London to Canterbury to visit the shrine of St. Thomas Becket. The prize for this contest is a free meal at the Tabor Inn in Southwark on their return. It has been suggested that the greatest contribution of the Canterbury Tales to English literature was the popularization of the English vernacular in mainstream literature, as opposed to French, Italian or Latin. The Canterbury Tales is generally thought to have been incomplete at the end of Chaucer's life. In the general prologue, some 30 pilgrims are introduced. According to the prologue, Chaucer's intention was to write for stories from the perspective of each pilgrim. The Canterbury tale represents a vivid portrait of the English medieval society, ranging from the nobility, various representatives of the clergy, on to the middle class, consisting of merchants and professional figures, down to the humble figures in the social spectrum representing tradesmen and finally a class of peasant workers. In the general prologue to the poem, Chaucer explains the function of each of these levels, but he also strongly criticizes their members, especially those who enjoy greater wealth and prestige, but frequently fail to meet their social duties. He makes it clear that his aim is not just to write a poem about medieval society, but also to satirize its members. Even though all of Chaucer's characters and tales are fictitious, they draw inspiration from real-life characters and types of this era. His tales often show how medieval society is no longer rigid but is being inverted and subverted by new emerging social trends. Chaucer's poem is in fact full of more than an unconventional female figures. The prioress, for example, is emblematic. She is not described as a faithful nun, but rather as a refined woman who indulges in music, has elegant manners and can speak French fluently. Another female character that is worth mentioning is the wife of Bath, a woman of independent means as a professional seamstress, who knows the scriptures and can speak as an intellectual, but who also takes pilgrimage as social events and admits to having had five husbands. The wife of Bath is probably the clearest example of a liberal woman, one who defends her freedom and even uses her power to intimidate men. The Canterbury Tales is a complex, multi-layered literary work. Let's see some of the main themes. The journey. An important theme, which is both historical, the journey of St. Thomas Becket's shrine, and metaphorical. The traveling mix of people in Chaucer's masterpiece is a collective symbol of the whole journey of humanity. The meaning of life. Chaucer often contrasts traditional moral stories with real life in order to explore the meaning of human life more deeply. The variety of human life. The characters who act and speak in the Canterbury Tales represent a huge variety of different human types and contribute to showing the complex, varied nature of humankind. The relationship between man and woman, and the changing role of women. In many of his stories, Chaucer explored man-woman relations, 
and redefines them in the light of the new emerging role of women in society. Feminism did not exist in chosen time, but characters like the wife of Bath surely anticipated some of his trends. The importance of storytelling Tales and storytelling play a fundamental role in Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. Chaucer explicitly uses storytelling as a means to reveal the meaning of human life, as a tool to make social criticism and as an instrument to amuse and to educate his readers.